Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca and today I'm going to bring you along my watering day. So sometimes when everything lines up, I have one day where I need to water a lot of my plants and that is today. So today is Sunday, it's the perfect day to do some watering. I have three zones in which I water my plants. So I have the outdoor region of my home, which has a lot of tropicals on it and I have made two videos about this this season, first, me just getting ready my patio, me getting my patio ready, I always get that word order wrong. And the second one was just instructions and information about what it is like to put your plants outside and what you can expect and everything involved in that. So I will link those videos down in the description box below and in the cards so that you can find them very easily. I also need to water all of the plants in my bathroom and my greenhouse. Maybe not all of them, but quite a bit of them do need some water. A lot of those plants need specific water, so I water them with either distilled or reverse osmosis water. And I have little milk cartons that I just refill at the bulk store. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna take you along with me to do that. It is a full day of watering and I hope that you enjoy. I hope that this is just easy watching, you can enjoy. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so now that outside has been watered, I'm now going to plan for watering my sensitive tropicals. We'll call them that. Um, so I need to gather all of my reusable containers to go fill up my water jugs at the bulk store, which I go to Sprouts Farmer's Market. They have a nice like water refill station. And I am going to be getting a like bigger, probably five gallon jug, maybe two of them, so I have to go less. Right now I go probably every time I have to water which is only like every 10 days, so it's not that bad, but it is pretty annoying. And usually it coincides with my grocery shopping, but this time it doesn't. I have a big reusable grocery container, and I just put a bunch of old milk cartons. Like, Daniel drinks a lot of milk, so we go through a lot of milk cartons, so I save a lot of them and just hold on to them so that I can reuse them for water, like after I clean them out and stuff. One time I didn't clean it out very well, and the water smelled like bad milk, and that was not pleasant so make sure you clean out your jugs <laughs> something that i was unsure of was whether or not i could bring the actual tank for my humidifier because my humidifier actually takes up most of the water that i need um, the plants really don't use that much of it so my humidifier is six liters or one and a half gallons especially right now with the air conditioning running my humidifier is running a lot more and when i don't run the humidifier it gets down to like 30 percent humidity in that bathroom which is not good for those plants and then when I do consistently run the humidifier it is around 50 to 60 percent usually which is where I'd like for it to be oh you know if you guys want to see an entire dedicated video on how I keep the humidity up in my home I would be really happy to do that I've actually considered making that video so let me know if you'd be interested in seeing how I keep the humidity in my home okay, so I'm just gonna be taking the full tank like I said just lift it out and I just bring this with me and fill it up. So in the age of Corona, going to the grocery store has been a huge point of anxiety for me. I've done my best to avoid going to the grocery store. And obviously anytime I leave the house, I've done like seven things at once. And so now that we are entering May and just sort of thinking about what life looks like after Corona, it's very strange to, I don't know. I just don't know what life is really gonna feel like. It is a whole new world. Whew. Oh my gosh. It is sweaty in that mask. It is very hot in Tucson today and wearing a mask does not feel great. Let's get some AC. <laughs> Whew. 
I got five gallons or five and a half gallons and it cost me a dollar fifty. So if I was to go and buy distilled water, it would cost me probably two dollars for one and a half gallons if I was to buy like a jug like I used to. So now I'm gonna go home, water those plants, and I'm kind of on in a rush now. I've spent a lot of time lollygagging, so yeah, we gotta go. <laughs> Okay, so I've taken a little bit of a break and now I am back at it. I wanted to give those plants plenty of time to drain because I don't want things to be dripping. Oh, there's a fungus nut in my face. Um, because I don't want things to be dripping down onto our toilet and all of that. I also wanted to show you that my humidifier has been running for a couple of hours and it's already used this much. And now we are at, what is this 49 percent it was at around 55 when i came in here usually if we keep the door shut the humidity will stay pretty high in here so hi <laughs> okay so let's do this humidity train all for my watering routine I hope that you enjoyed this video found it relaxing or helpful in any way I you know it's been a long day of watering and I didn't do this all in one sitting clearly Daniel and I are in the bathroom getting ready to go visit my parents but um, I just thought I would take you along with me so I hope that you enjoyed if you did let me know in the comments down below and I can make more videos like this where <laughs> just living my life <laughs> okay um, I'll talk to you guys later bye